everyone. In this video, we are going to simplify a complex fraction. A complex fraction is another way of saying that I have fractions inside of a fraction. And our complex fraction is 4 fifteenths divided by negative 24 twenty-fifths. So I'm going to take our first fraction, 4 fifteenths, and we are going to divide it by negative 24 twenty-fifths. Now, whenever I see a division sign on fractions, that actually means that I'm going to be multiplying by the reciprocal. So this is really the expression 4 fifteenths multiplied by the reciprocal. The second fraction is the reciprocal, 25 over 24, this one. Don't touch the first fraction. It's okay. It's the second fraction that must be flipped over. Now that I have the expression uh, changed into a multiplication, this means that I can multiply numerator to numerator and denominator times denominator. But I always try to find a way to simplify beforehand because then I have smaller numbers and it makes it easier. I could go ahead and multiply 4 times 25 and get negative 100. But I'm going to simplify first because I see 15 and 25 are both divisible by 5 which gives me 5 here, as 25 divided by 5 is 5. On the bottom, I see 15 divided by 5 is 3, and that gives me much smaller numbers. Uh, let's see, I also see that a numerator 4 and 24 are both divisible by 4. So 4 divided by 4 is 1, 24 divided by 4 is 6, and I'm going to look and see if there's anything else I can simplify. Any numerator with any denominator and I don't see anything else. So I can go ahead and multiply the remaining numbers in the numerators, multiply those together, and don't forget the negative, and then multiply the denominators. So I get one times negative five is negative five. And on the bottom, three times six gives me 18. And this is simplified before I did the multiplication. If I didn't simplify before the multiplication, I would have to simplify afterwards. This would be 4 times negative 25 gives me negative 100 over 15 times 24, which is a much larger number to try and simplify. 15 times 24 is 360. And then I would have to divide both the top and bottom by numbers to make them simplified. So. I'm going to go ahead and simplify beforehand because this is a much faster way. For those of you who would like to multiply first though, let's go ahead and simplify this last one. Uh, a trick here is that both of them end in zero. If they both end in zero, I can divide them both by 10, which crosses out that last zero. So this is, I can say divide by 10, which makes it negative 10 over 36. And then I'm going to divide these again by something in common. I see five will go into both of, uh, two will go into both of those, which gives me negative five. And 36 divided by two is 18. And you can see they are the same fraction, just a different way of simplifying and multiplying. And whichever way makes sense to you is the way you should do it.